four years of playing in that team, but also today with the Canadian national anthem and everything that went into it. Just kind of, what were your emotions like listening to that and then just the whole game? Yeah, I've been trying to get them to do that for like four years now, <laughs> about time. Um, but it was real cool. Uh, I had all my friends from Toronto, it was like their first game here. Uh, they all got to experience it and share that with me. Um, something I remember forever. Zach, did you know that your mom was going to steal the microphone and talk? Or, uh, yeah, she, she asked me before if I, I figured she wanted me. Well, what, uh, so many memories, but is there one that stands out for you from your four years here, either on the floor or off? I just won the championships. Um, confetti coming down. That's, that's the biggest thing I remember from Purdue. Mason, I'm going to uh, go to you for the advice here, but uh, you know injuries are a part of sports more than anybody on this team. This team has been relatively healthy for two straight years, and then today you get two scares. Just how thankful are you with the health that this team's had? Because I think that's the biggest thing uh, with why this team's had so much success is the, the continuity. Absolutely. I think people underestimate the health of players. You know, you can't go if you're hurt. You can't play to the best of your ability if your ankle's torn up or your hand's torn up some way, whatever injury it is. Uh, so that also goes to our training staff, you know, our strength coach, uh, Chad. Just being able to take care of us, read our bodies and listen to us. And if we're hurting or a lot of us are sluggish one day, you know, we don't practice as hard. And not to say that we get away with things, but they're just assessing how we feel and doing it the right way. So I think that helps to not having a lot of injuries because we're not always beaten down. You know, the season's tough, the tournament's tough, but our coaches and training staff do a great job of monitoring us. Hey Lance, talk about your dad. How special that was, bring that picture out with him and, and what that means to you. Uh, I'm gonna try to say this and not get emotional. Um, I mean, he's the reason for everything. Uh, you know, he wasn't able to make it to my, my senior my senior night last year, uh, you know, due to him being sick. Um, so, you know, I wanted to honor him a certain way. Um, I know he's with me in spirit, um, but uh, I mean, that was just something that I felt like I had to do. I don't know. Zach in the back here, what makes today so emotional for you? I watched me and Mackie. That's it? So it's got to sit. Zach, when the, just going to the game a little bit, uh, 12 minutes left, they pull within four. You guys were really close out the game strong. Is that indicative of what you've been seeing all season long? And just your thoughts on, on how well you played down the stretch. Yeah, um, we have a lot of guys that can just like, really lock in down, down the stretch. Um, I think that's kind of the difference between uh, good teams and great teams. Like we have, we have closers. Like everyone wants to take a shot at the end of the game. Everybody wants the ball in their hands at the end of the game. Like no one's scared of the moment. Um, I think that's kind of uh, leads to separation at the end of the games. Um, I know personally, I was really, uh, I was really, really trying to play hard, especially at the end there, to try to pull away, get Carson and Chase a minute uh, on senior night. Um, but it, it was just, uh, it was really cool to see the way that we kind of just showed our veteran. Um, uh, like abilities and just pull away. Uh, for Mason, hey, can you just kind of put in the words? You kind of touched on it out there, but just for you personally to get to this point after the injuries, the Richard here and whatnot, it's just how much does this mean to you to be here today? It's huge. Um, you know, I grew up a baseball player, ended up transitioning into a basketball player, fell in love with the game. Never thought that I'd be a D1 basketball player. Um, a lot of people told me. Should have stuck with baseball. Should have did this, that, and the other. Um, but those are the people who drove me. You know, it, w it was the people having my back, but a lot of people telling me I can't do this, I can't do that. Um, I think that's a testament to a lot of the guys. You know, not a lot of us were high recruits or top of the line, whatever. We just work hard, have each other's backs, and at the end of the day, we love hooping together, and it makes it a lot better. We're relationship guys, we're brothers, we're not just teammates, you know, it's more than more than the game. And in 10, 15, 20 years, you know, I'm gonna be able to call Lance and hopefully he'll, he'll answer. I would bet money he'll answer. Um, 
but that's the biggest thing. Our group of guys, it's bigger than basketball with us, and we all feel that. So that's my biggest takeaway. Zach, as we turn the page to the second season, heading to Minneapolis for the Big Ten tournament, what would it mean to Purdue in general and you in particular to potentially capture a second consecutive Big Ten postseason championship? Yeah, I think whenever you have the opportunity to win a championship, uh, you want to capitalize on it. Um, obviously, it's going to be a tough, uh, like the, there's good teams, a lot of teams are going to be playing for uh, like their season. So we have to come in with that kind of mindset and be ready. And Lance, if I could follow up with you, what would it mean for you to be in this second season, in this moment, considering, you know, you know, this is your first time here and everybody loves you. What does it mean to potentially capture a second consecutive post <coughs> championship for Purdue, but your first here? Uh, it would mean a lot. I mean, it's new to me, but you know, it'd be like routine for them. Uh, you know, they, they won it last year. Um, but, you know, I feel like we come in with the same goal and that's to get better as a team. Um, so I feel like, you know, we're going to go out with the right mindset, uh, play to the best of our abilities, and, uh, you know, try to try to win another championship. Yeah. Thank you. Mason, Matt said you're a, a maniacal worker out there. I think probably, if not matching you, right behind you is Zach, who came in here, you know. Uh, and if he was, if people think he's just tall now, they should see him four years ago, I guess. But. How far has he come, the, the Mafia Hair kid that showed up here four years ago, and, and how far have you seen him come just with his work ethic to get to the point where he's one of the best players to ever come through this program? I love this question because when he first came in, like he couldn't catch the ball no matter how we threw it to him, other hand, bounce, lob, whatever it was. Not to talk too down about it. <laughs> like, I'll be here already. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I would get yelled at because I'm throwing the ball to him a lot and he's not catching it. So Payne's yelling at me. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, whatever. But uh, he's really worked at it. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect by any means, but he's really worked at it. You can tell he loves the game. You can tell he respects the game. And not every number one person is like that. Like a lot of people, you know, don't respect the game and don't respect the people around him like he does. He looks out for everybody. Um, He's a good guy, stays in the gym, and you know I don't think we could ask for a better national player of the year, honestly. He does it the right way and keeps going. Lance, you guys didn't have to have this game today. It's a long season. This wasn't any of your end goals, but what did you guys find within yourselves during the <coughs> season to push you to here? Three losses, um, haven't lost at Mackey, everything you guys have accomplished, we will accomplish. Well, you said we haven't lost that Mackey, so we did need this game. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just we just want to, you know, have the right mindset and you know, right uh, momentum going into you know the postseason. Um, you know, we have a goal that we're working towards, and uh, you know, just day in and day out, um, you know, we just gotta we just gotta put forth that effort, and uh, I feel like uh, I'm confident with our confident with our results. Two more, Dave, and then. Zach, one thing Lance said in his uh, video was that uh, stories don't do it justice coming here, his experience. Uh, I was wondering if, uh, when he, now you guys all have a story to tell, obviously, about your experience moving forward. When, when you tell, when somebody asks you what, what it was like to be a Purdue, to play a Purdue, to, to play a back in how do you think you'll, you'll begin that story when you tell them? Yeah, I, would, I would tell them the best four years of my life. That's how I started. Uh, Zach, you know, you talk about famous classes at Purdue, um, you know, the baby boomers are kind of the, the last big one, but, um, you know, when you talk about you guys, um, you know, what, what do you think, what do you think people will say, and, you know, do you guys have a, do you guys have any nicknames picked out yet? <laughs> um, I don't think it's really up to us to choose the nicknames, um, but I don't, I don't know, I think it's, it's for y'all to decide who's better, their class, our class, the only thing we're worried about is just really winning basketball games. Um, that's kind of what we've done for four years. Um, how that puts us in the history books, I don't know. I think I, I know we have the most uh, Big Ten wins by any class ever. So however you want to rank us, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to keep winning. Brian, you go one more. Last one. Yep. Um, for Mason, real quick. Um, 
obviously one of the things that held you guys back last season was the three-point shooting. It's been great, obviously great this year. Were you surprised at all just how dramatically it, it swung for you, or did you sort of see this coming? I wouldn't say I was surprised, and I wouldn't say I could see this coming. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all work at it, and whenever we're confident in each other and have each other's backs, it helps us bring out our talent, bring out our skill. And so on top of working in, on it every single day and then, you know, just playing the right way and getting better shots, that helps our percentages too. You know, we're not all always taking kind of contested shots. Zach's done a great job passing out of the post. And so there's a lot of things that add up to us being a good three-point shooting team. It's yes on the shooter to make the shot, but a lot of things go into what creates good shots. So we just got to stick with it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.